All right, all right, all right. We are back with the GSMC Wrestling Laurier Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. I'm your host, Eric Rodriguez, here every Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Time, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Here to talk about everything in terms of professional wrestling, all the action inside and outside of the ring, backstage, um, you know, behind the curtain rumors, superstar injury updates, contract obligations. Also, we talk about promotions from AEW, WWE, the NWA, the GCW. If it makes major news, Wrestling headlines, we're talking about it here on this show. So just going to reflect on what we talked about right quick. We had our WWE Monday Night Raw preview, a uh, review, sorry. And now we're going to have our NXT uh, uh, preview. So before we get into any of that, I want to remind you guys to hit up the tips and donations link at the gsmcpodcast.net. Also hit up that super chat box, whether if you got a burning question or just an opinion about professional wrestling. Here at the GSMC Sports Network, we are all ears, a thousand and ten percent. And just to make sure your voice is, you know, it's part of the mix, do not be shy. Do not be shy. Go ahead and drop those thoughts inside that chat. And if you really want to make sure your comment or question gets, uh, you know, gets ensured that it's going to be featured on the show, use that super chat. It's that dollar sign below chat box to be a part of the show. A thousand and ten percent. The chat obviously helps us, you know, keep the lights on in terms of this network. Also keeps all this sports content that you guys love so damn much, and it's absolutely free. In this case, you're watching some awesome professional wrestling content. Oh, uh, you're absolutely a thousand times super grateful for each and every one of you guys who tune in daily. Uh, your support makes all the difference. So let's keep the conversation going. Let's keep it lively. Let's keep this party going, and um, and together we will make sure we can make this podcast bigger, better, and stronger than ever with those super chats. Hit up those super chats, those super stickers, because you guys are super awesome. And once again, if the super chat thing, you know, if it's not your thing, we are still gsmcpodcast.net. Hit up the tips and donations link at the gsmcpodcast.net. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Give me, you know, some of your opinions about professional wrestling, which would be absolutely awesome. Also, yeah, remember to Superman punch that like and subscribe button to the show. Follow the show, follow the network. But overall, just make sure you guys have a good time. Feel free to chat any single, you know, anytime you want. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, you know, have a nice little podcast. This podcast is, uh, you know, together. All right. So WWE NXT preview. So we are preparing for the fallout of WWE NXT No Mercy. Out No Mercy, you had uh, NXT general manager Ava come out announcing that, uh, you know, on the CW premiere, there's going to be, you know, WWE tag team matches. There's going to be a WWE NXT World Heavyweight Championship title bout. And with, there's going to be a WWE Performance Center opening in Las Vegas. And, you know, that's not much to a surprise because of the newly formed, uh, you know, newly formed partnership between TKO Holdings, which includes like the UFC and other, you know, combat sports and stuff like that, that the UFC produces. So. And especially with WrestleMania being in Las Vegas this year, this is something that's, um, it's big. It's really huge. I feel like more people will tune into WWE NXT. I honestly thought they were going to take it on the road every single week. But, you know, with NX, with the Performance Center opening up in Las Vegas, because Las Vegas is the entertainment capital of the world. You can see, shoot, you can see the Blue Man Group. You can see the Backstreet Boys. You can go to the Caesars Palace Mall. You can go to uh, anywhere, anywhere in Las Vegas and be entertained. Imagine a little bit off the strip. You can attend a WWE event on Tuesdays. And I feel like overall that's the best way to go about it. I feel like they will get a lot of attention, a lot of attention. I feel like overall UFC fighters will actually be more entailed in joining WWE once when they decide to hang up their boots inside the octagon. And it's just, it's just very pragmatic. It's like, it's just right there. Like you're a person who travels to Las Vegas. Why not check out the WWE? I'm a WWE fan. I'm not fully in tune to it. Why not watch an NXT event for like 40 or 50 bucks? You can find tickets on stuff up, Ticketmaster. Or, you know, Seek Geek or whatever you get your tickets from. And, you know, it's not, it's to the point where I feel like NXT is going to be bigger. I feel like, um, you know, them landing in Las Vegas is going to be great for WWE moving forward. And maybe some collaborations between TNA and NXT. You know, it's going to be absolutely necessary. Maybe TNA gets part of the piece of the cake. 
where they, you know, have t uh, events in Nevada as well. You know, uh, Las Vegas, man, they are just on fire. They're just on fire. Like, well, besides the Las Vegas Raiders. Sorry, Raiders fans. Well, you know, I'm not into it yet. The Raiders. But I can be a believer. <laughs> I can be a believer, you know. Um, and they're, they want to try to bring the Oakland, Oakland Athletics to Las Vegas as well. The, you know, the Las Vegas Aces of the WNBA are, you know, amazing. You know, you can't touch this. Um, Las Vegas Golden Knights. They're, you know, they're rumored they're going to be bringing an NBA team. It's been rumored that LeBron James will be the guy to do it. Um, it's just, and then the Raiders, uh, I don't want to talk too much about the Raiders because, you know, they have a match against the Chargers on, uh, on Sunday. I hope you guys, you know, hope you guys forget to pick up a good victory, you know, for everybody, uh, all the Vegas fans out there. But, uh, I don't know, just kind of keeping it real. I love the fact that they're moving to Las Vegas. I overall kind of thought with the, you know, since you have CM Punk being in the first show in Chicago, then you have uh, Randy Orton in their second show on the road. Uh, I, I kind of thought, you know, they you kind of have NXT pandering to WWE a little bit. Like, hey, let me borrow some of your superstars just to ensure that people attend our event. But knowing, you know, after finding out this news, I think this news came out, I think uh, a couple of weeks ago, that WWE is building a performance center in uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Just means that, you know, it's, it's going to be your same old NXT. And that's not a bad thing. That's, you know, that shouldn't be anything... I still feel like maybe with Las Vegas, obviously all the casinos, they they talk to each other. All the owners talk to each other. All the hotel, you know, tycoons, you know. And, you know, you're going to get a lot of events. NXT going to the MGM Grand. Going to the MGM Grand. NXT going to, you know, fighting in Caesar's, Caesar's Palace. Maybe, you know, they're going to fight inside, uh, you know, the Excalibur. Maybe they kind of find, maybe they bring back the great, uh, the Royal Bash or something like that. That'd be pretty badass. But um, I don't know. It's, I think it's just kind of perfect for NXT. All right. But anyway, tonight on NXT, we're, we have the fallout of No Mercy. Will we see Joe Henry tonight? I'm not too sure, which sucks because I would love to see him. Lexus King will take on Oral Mensa. This is kind of like the... Um, uh, I think that, you know, besides WWE Bad Blood, which is happening, you know, with Raw and SmackDown... NXT is kind of having a PLE of their own once again from a week to week basis on the on the USA network. You recently had um you know No Mercy on Peacock. So I think it's about time that they have something that comes on cable television and um you know where they're all fighting for that first episode of NXT. Basically, you know, you're going to have NXT kind of unload a little bit. Kind of like okay, we're going to the CW we have a lot to prove. We have a lot of, you know, we got to sell out Chicago. We got to sell out St. Louis. So we're going to have, we're going to have to, you know, kind of play clean up a little bit here. Will Lexus King, you know, kind of come out of it. You know, after he left AEW, I, I, I kind of knew he was going to wind up somewhere, but so far as he was, you know, as he's performing on NXT, it's just, it's just not the same. He just doesn't look like the same dude. It, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. I, not, I'm not saying he could be better because I don't really think that he's that superstar for people to kind of go head over heels for to be like, oh, Lexus King, like yeah, like let's do it. Kind of looks like this Tiger King guy who's who fights for his voice and music and stuff like that. But like, I don't, I guess it could work. You know, uh, it's not his fault about the bookings and stuff like that. But uh, and then we also have Trick Williams taking off Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne interrupted the match, the main event match at NXT No Mercy which cost Joe Henry the championship, which sucked, 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 sucked. But Ethan Page is all ego when he retains the NXT World Heavyweight Championship. But tonight we will see Trick Williams going up against Pete Dunne. Will we see Sheamus tonight? Possibility that could happen, you know, since Pete Dunne cost him a chance at the Intercontinental Championship. And, you know, you kind of have that promo where he was talking to Jack Jackie Redman, you know, saying that, you know, I don't like being called Butch. It was from an outside source, you know, it wasn't from uh, Pete Dunne. And, you know, maybe kind of hinting at a reunion between Rich Holland and uh, Pete Dunne. Maybe both of them, you know, start causing carnage on WWE NXT. That'd be pretty damn interesting. Next, we have an NXT tag team title number one contenders match. 
Axiom and Nathan Frazier reclaimed the NXT Tag Team Championship against Andre Chase and Rich Holland. But then you saw Rich Holland go absolutely berserk. It was, you know, kind of crazy. But the match tonight, we have, uh, you know, Haken Tank. We also have the Rascals. And we have Gallus. Uh, you know, I think I, I, I want to see the Rascals pick up the victory. But, you know, Hank and Tank, they've been pretty good on WWE NXT week in and week out. You know, cutting good promos, getting like this baby face kind of feel around these guys. You know, kind of reminds me of like a bootleg, you know, Creed Brothers. Where these guys could be high flying, also dynamic, technical, also powerhouses. So, you know, that you know, I can see that happening. Uh Gallus, Gallus is lost. Gallus is kind of a lost cost from here. Um, for me personally, I want to see the Rascals, you know, win. I want to see them go up against, you know, uh, you know, Axiom and Nathan Frazier because they did have that six-man tag team match. Uh, I think the week before. Damn it, I think it was the week before NXT Great American Bash. And the match was just a freaking instant classic. It was great. It was absolutely a thousand percent kept the fans on their heels. But uh, yeah, what's next for Chase U and Rich Holland? Um, Chase U has all, you know, they have not yet had a, a title run that really, you know, you're kind of proud of. Uh, Rich Holland, you know, his shocking betrayal should be addressed tonight. Should be pretty interesting. Are we going to see Juliet appear on WWE NXT? Should be interesting. We're going to see Tatum Paxley address Wendy Chu. Also, we're going to start building up momentum for the WWE NXT Women's and the WWE Men's North American Championship. You know, uh, moving forward toward the first episode of the CW, Oba Femin. Also, Kaylani Jordan from the women's side, Roxanne Perez. Probably end up fighting Julia. Could be pretty crazy. Could be pretty damn crazy, but uh, I don't know. Overall, it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. All right. So next, we're going to talk about Asuka. Asuka signs. A, no, no, that's our fourth segment. Sorry. We're going to talk about Kevin Owens. We're going to talk about Kevin Owens first. We had somebody successfully signed a deal with WWE. So now we're going to talk about someone who you know, didn't have, you know, such luck. But uh, yeah, uh, we're going to talk about it next at the GSMC podcast. Sorry, at the GSMC Wrestling Laureate podcast. <laughs> 